And hello to everyone and thank you for your time. Um, I've allowed 30 minutes for the presentation and 15 minutes for the discussion. If we don't have enough time for all the questions raised, we'll collate them at the end and email the answers. If you think of any questions as we go along, do enter them in the chat box and we'll come to them after the presentation, or I should say the question box. Okay, all right. I just want to say a few words first um, about how we came to do the project that resulted in the thesaurus management interface. The SESTA ELSE project, um, prior to 2012, the UK Data Archive managed two thesauri in two separate databases, they're HACCIT and ELSE. Has, uh, funding from the ESRC for the project extends from October to 2012 to September 2017 to undertake the SORI alignment, which is completed, update and revise the SORI and streamline their management, which is in process, and make compliant as far as possible with new international thesaurus guidelines, the ISO guidelines, and create SCOS version of both the SORI to make available for linked data, which is completed. Okay, um, SCOS has it. Funding from JISC extended from June 2012 to March 2013 to apply SCOS to our HACCIT thesaurus. Applying SCOS to HACCIT has meant that our thesaurus is more widely available and more usable. SCOS encodes the SORI in a systemized way using RDF to make their structures comparable and to facilitate interaction. And SCOS has now been applied to ELST. Okay, um, the majority of you are familiar with HACCIT, so you want to be alerted to any major changes in the new interface. For the few that are new to HACCIT, if you've not already had an opportunity to read the HACCIT guide, this is a good place to start. You can see on the main page. Okay, um, first we no longer refer to synonyms. Oh, you can see from the old screen um, that we used to refer to terms and synonyms. Um, we no longer refer to synonyms and primarily refer to concepts rather than terms. Okay, um, so... Um, the suggest to change screens now and the new interface you'll see have suggest new concept buttons and suggest concept deletion buttons. So a few comments on the use of the word concept is helpful. SCOS has been applied to HACCIT, so we refer to SCOS concepts now rather than preferred terms. A SCOS concept is defined within a hierarchical scheme. I won't go into that in detail, but here's a useful link on Wikipedia. The application of SCOS to HACCIT was a critical step in the alignment of HACCIT and ELST. Okay, uh, the other changes synonyms and are now used for terms. You can see the old thesaurus um, screen had um, synonyms for economics, political economy. Now the current version we have a use for. Um, you can see there. It's a better label now, as we've always used the field, as if it was a useful field. For example, health and well-being terms were never synonyms. Another change is that polyhierarchies are now displayed um, so that we, we know exactly where they exist. So this is an example of the new um, technology and innovation hierarchy. Okay, um, just to begin with indexing with HACCIT, the above changes have no effect on the way we've used HACCIT in the past. The hierarchical structure still provides a range of associated terms which denote a level of specificity, usually BTs or NTs, and selecting the level is much like choosing a point on the scale. Just to illustrate the, the new hierarchy again, um, science and technology, you can see the scale down to mobile phones and smartphones. Okay. The flowchart from the ISO standards for selecting index terms provides a helpful guide to follow the process of identifying the need for a new suggestion for the thesaurus. So we'll just start with that. So the flowchart, um, we begin, examine the document and identify significant concepts and consider the first concept. Um, does the thesaurus contain the term denoting the, the concept? We need to go to HACCIT then to find out. Or you you will see actually I should um, I should revise that and say you'll see it on your um, um, on your screen for your in, um, input screen. So to search HACCIT, um, either click on the toolbar link or enter the term in the search box. 
the quickest route is to use the search box. The link on the toolbar provides you with an option to browse the whole thesaurus if you do not have a specific term in mind. Okay, so we enter a term. In this case, I put in child health. Um, so there's no results found. You can either clear the screen and try an alternate term or select the tree view for an appropriate hierarchy. At this point, um, I could try the live screen. I'm just... Um, and see how we go. Is that showing? No, it's not showing. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll stay with this, this screen for the moment. Um, we go on again to does the thesaurus contain the term um, or can the term, no it doesn't, so can the term be expressed unambiguously by a combination of other preferred terms? So in this case, if we go in via the um, um, the tree view. I'll just see if I can change my, my screen now to show my other monitor. I've got the live screen going now. So I'll, I'll just put in our term. Okay. And we go to the, to the search. So there's no results found. We can go to the tree view then. and go down to health. Click on health and we get the screen that I have on my slides. So I'll just go back to my slides now. No. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So from here, um, we can go to the visual graph, which is an excellent way of exploring concepts. Okay. Apologies again, I'm just having a little trouble moving the screen. Okay, here I am. All right, so if we go to the visual graph, you click on the full screen to see terms clearly from here, so I'll put on the full screen. From here we can explore related terms. So I have health. Um, I click on related terms. And I can choose whichever might seem appropriate. I could perhaps go to health services. If we're looking at child health, for instance. Um, at any point of the search, there's an option to return to the view concept page by just resetting the graph. I'll try that in a minute. But here we are in health services. Um, we can look further for related terms there. And again, um, we click by clicking on the magnifying glass, um, we, we can return to the view concept page. So here I can I can go to that particular View, that particular view concept page. But if I go back to my, no, sorry, that's that's not helping there. If I if I've gone down that track, um, where was I? Health services. I just wanted to show you the reset graph button that will return you to the original original point of the display. Okay, go back to my slides. No. No. Okay. That's right. Okay. The flowchart of indexing decisions using the thesaurus can will take that a step further. Um, if the concept can be expressed by a combination of other preferred terms that we might have found either through the view concept screen or the visual graph consider each term and consider the associated terms. Um, I've just done a, a quick example here of um, a particular study. I won't go into that in great detail. It's just there for reference um, with a question and, and a combination of, of keywords that, that we might choose to use and that have been used to index it. So it's what we meant in the former screen, former screen by associated terms in the thesaurus. 
Okay, um, if we can't find a, a combination of terms, then we'll go on to the HACCP suggestion screen, which you'll find on the toolbar. Click on the, this screen, which will take you to a registration page. Um, enter your University of Essex login, and you'll be immediately taken to um, a suggestion page where you can check if your suggestion has already been made. Use the search box there to enter your term, um, and it'll tell you either there's no, um, no suggestions found, or you might find that your suggestion has already been entered. If your suggestion has been made, then add your comment at the moment we've got this edit button to add your comment to. Just be aware that unlike the former JIRA procedure for suggestions, any comments can be read by all registered users. Okay, there's two types of HACCP suggestions. Um, first is just a term suggestion, as we've been using in the example of child health, or editor term suggestion. Um, it's equally important to suggest a change to improve the currency of the thesaurus as it is to suggest a new term. So on your box, uh, you'll have, um, I'll show you on the next screen, you can either enter the new term or you can enter a comment, such as this term is out of date and needs, needs a new scope note, to the type of comment studies use this term rather than the existing HACCP keyword. Okay. Um, once we've entered our term, um, uh, if the term or edit hasn't been suggested, then click on the Suggest a Change link, which is to the left of your screen. Um, an example of, of an edit change we're aware of in the thesaurus and we'll be attending to shortly is the issue of same-sex marriage. At the moment, it's a use for in the civil partnerships and since the Law has been um, is now been introduced in the UK. Um, the same-sex marriage. We'll want to make a change there, but that type of suggestion is really helpful. Okay, on the suggestion page, we enter a suggestion title that summarises the issue. This is a mandatory field. I just gave examples before of either the term, which we've got there, of child health, or you can make it longer. You know the scope notice out of date, etc. that we've just discussed. The reason for suggestion is important information for us. It, it should include a reference to the data to be indexed and a link to the study guide, which is particularly helpful. I think everyone's been doing that in the past when they've sent the, the JIRA requests through. It, it's, it's proved to be so helpful. And once the suggestion title and reason for suggestion fields have been completed, um, click on the Suggest New Concept button which is here. This will open and um, with, this will extend the, the options, extend the screen. Enter as much information as you have and click on the Save button there. The Cancel button will refresh these fields but not delete the information entered above the Suggest New Concept button. If you enter a broader term in, in that list, um, it's not a mandatory field, but your suggestion for a preferred term will be shown in the position it will occupy in the hierarchy to the left. So you'll, you'll immediately see it's in alphabetical order and child health will be entered here. Once you've saved the Suggest New Concept information, the field suggest, Summary of Suggested Changes will be automatically feel, filled above. You can continue to add suggestions in this manner. It, it was designed specifically so that we can, a number of related suggestions, a number of steps to the suggestion can be grouped together. Use the multiple suggestion facility only for related issues. Um, we'd recommend as unrelated suggestions will be lost in the suggestions index that we looked at in, in the slides above. Once your suggestion information is complete, uh, click on the Submit Suggestion button. The Cancel Suggestion will clear all the fields. Okay, just um, a quick comment about future work. Um, what we're aiming to do in the project for the remainder of the time is to review hierarchical structure um, and review the use of polyhierarchies. 
updating concepts. So we're aiming to remove redundant terms and review currency of terms and review our scope notes. And here's suggestions for edit to have that will play an important role in this work. Okay, thank you all, and the new HACCP can be found at this URL, and um, we'll invite you now to try HACCP suggestions, and if it's not intuitive, we'll be happy to schedule another webinar. Okay, these are some, just some references that I've referred to in the slides, and now I open for any, any questions. <laughs>